Hi, I'm Thanks a lot for listening to this video in which I'm going to show you how to uh, run uh, unit proof test in panel data analysis using eViews. So, uh, unit proof uh, test in panel data analysis is not fundamentally different in, uh, in eViews uh, according to the, the procedure. So the difference uh, is on the different methods that are used in order to uh, test for unit proof. So the first step is to open a series. For example, I have uh, action right here. I just open my series. To make a unit proof test, I just need to go on view, view. Then I click on unit proof test. So in unit group test, the first thing to do is to choose for uh, the different the, the, the test type. So you go in this type, in this tab, you have a wide range of tests uh, that are used in order to uh, see whether or not uh, there is a unit group in this in series uh, using uh, EVU. So we have living in shoe, we have brand to tung test, we have him with around and shoe. We have a uh, Fisher Zikifuller, augmented Zikifuller, we have uh, Philippe Perron, Fisher Philippe Perron, and we have hardware test. So, for example, is I'm going to run uh, him is around uh, Shin test. So, I just, I just click on this option, select uh, the individual uh, unit of test of uh, him is around Shin. So, uh, the, by default value of uh, test for units value is at level. So level is uh, you have also first difference and second difference test, but you will keep uh, first difference and first difference. For example, is used when uh, the series is not stationary and level, and we uh, search for the level of uh, stationary, and we can. Uh, run first different uh, test. So if uh, first different test uh, lead to the conclusion that the series is not uh, stationary at first difference, we can run second difference test. So for now, we will keep first difference test and we have to uh, include uh, in our equation uh, another uh, uh, got to include in our equation individual intercept or uh, individual intercept and trend for uh, in Pizalan Shin test. So we we'll keep uh, for now individual intercept in our test and uh, we click on OK and we can see that uh, according to in Pizalan Shin test our series in channel red is stationary because our p value is less than 5%. So less than 5% mean that we uh, reject the null hypothesis, which is there is a unit proof in our series. So rejecting the null hypothesis of unit proof mean that our series is stationary when we consider a 5%, even a 1% level, we can consider that our series is uh, stationary. So uh, let us look, for example, at... Uh, uh, Unit, we can also look at uh, augmented the Fuller Fisher test and then click on OK. We can see that uh, Fisher Sky Square uh, show that our series is uh, stationary at level. So let us look at uh, export, for example, the series uh, export, then open the series, go on view, uh, unit roof test, and uh, then uh, click on. Uh, is around him show for example shin uh, for example so then we click on ok and we can see that our p value is one meaning that our series we cannot uh, we cannot uh, reject the null hypothesis meaning that we accept the null hypothesis of the presence of the unit group in our series so we should look at second difference uh, tests uh, stationarily tests in order to determine the level of integration. So we go on view, uh, unit proof test, uh, first difference, we select first difference, and then click on OK. 
and you can see that the p-value is less than 5%, meaning that we reject no hypothesis that uh, the series have a unit proof, meaning that uh, our series is uh, stationary at uh, first degree. So that's it for this uh, video, and we hope this video have helped you understand how to run uh, unit proof and interpret unit proof tests using EVUs.